We have seen now uh, what the status of the CLT construction and then we had also a nice conversation, a nice debate about what's the future. Um, and we have seen what the traditional way to, to do the, the cross terminated timber construction. And the last 10 minutes, uh, we have a look to what we expect that is going on through a completely revolutionary system to install. So now we have seen what is the concept up to now, and this is what could be from now on. And what it changes is the way to install all the panels. It's a completely new point of view. And this is an innovative system that we developed in the last five years uh, in total secret, uh, in a total secret part. And finally, we could uh, this year, actually in 2014, to show to the, to the public what, what was going on because we finally received the final patent, actually two patents for these systems. And now we also finish it to develop the ETA that as we have seen, it's one of the most important certificates that you, you, you must have. And so now uh, we can show to the world what, uh, it's, what is this system. The system is still in the end of the development, will be ready uh, in the end of this year, the beginning of next year probably. And this is where we presented it the first time was inside the Rotoblast, inside our company from Cost Action. Cost Action is an important uh, group of people working on timber, timber world. The second time was in the famous World Conference Timber Engineering in Quebec City, where was the official presentation of this system. And then in the third very well-noted meeting about the timber industry and timber building, which is in Garmisch. And then finally, in this catalog and in all the fairs that we started in the end uh, this year, basically. Okay, this is our the big producer where we showed this uh, product that uh, showed us their um, opinion of what was regarding this product. So basically the big producer that we have in Europe. And this was proud of us because recently, uh, last April, we received this prize, the Schweighofer Prize, which is probably the best uh, prize that you can receive for innovation in timber. And we are proud because usually this prize is not given to a company that are not German, Germany or Austria, Austrian. So I think it was the first time for an Italian company to receive it. And these are... Uh, our CEO and people that develop it. This is Professor Piazza from the University of Trento with uh, him we collaborated. And let's see what's the system, why it's so revolutionary. We have seen that uh, the standard way to install, okay, I've told so many times, is this one, tension and shear. But why we have this system? Because of course, all the connection is wall, floor, wall, floor, wall, floor. So you have many shear, many planes that can shift. And uh, of course your purpose is to fix from wall to floor, wall to floor, because you have to fix all these sliding uh, planes, sliding floor, let's say. With this method, what you can see that it changes already is that the floor is inside, so it just standing on the wall. What they mean that if you look it from the high, you have like a milling inside because the real standing and the real contact is just from the wall to wall. So of course, basically, uh, quite basic actually, you remove one slide of shifting. So it was like a, a easy but genius, geniality, intuition to avoid this floor. And all the connection, as you can see, is just uh, concentrated in the edge of the building. And as you can see, works just through screws, which are uh, full thread screws. Okay, so again, traditional 
three levels, lighting and X-Rad system, so just in the wall. Again, the concept, why it's so different? So what's the meaning? That at first, the first uh, thing that you can see that we are going to avoid uh, all these connectors with our all the angle brackets, hold down, angle shear and screws. The screws, the standard screws will be used only to fix this one, this floor on this one, but it's just a standing there. They are not taking any horizontal forces. They are just giving stiffness, okay, but for the box behavior. But finally, also the horizontal forces and the tension forces is taken by the system in the angle. So you can imagine that it's a completely, totally different way to transfer the loads. Here the load is going through all the panels and walking a lot. In this way, instead, you have concentrated point in here, in here, in here. And what is a revolution, and this is not easy to, to make understand uh, in few words, is that it totally changes also the way to design uh, the wall, the timber wall. Because in this case, of course, as I told you before, the forces is just vertical forces acting on the panel. But in this case, with these forces in here, you can imagine that here inside the massive, the fact that the CLT is massive, some line inside of the load are creating also in this part, so right inside the timber. What's the meaning? That here we have the recreation also of a trusses. You can see that from a test that we are taking on, there is like a thrust behavior inside the walls and this is our challenge and this is why we are uh, developing um, a software that it takes time to, to be released because it also uh, is a revolution about the forces acting on the wall, not only vertically but also with diagonal so you can uh, use much more the timber inside. I've told before that what is good of the timber is that it's very strong for compression and tension because it's massive, the CLT. But actually we are not going to use it in the proper way. In this case, instead, we also are going to use it in the proper way. You can also imagine more easy to understand that in this case you have this compression forces acting straight on this floor. So you have like a compression acting uh, problem of the compression forces. If you are going very up with the follower who is designing very high uh, building knows that the problem is that at the lower floor you don't have enough strength that you have to increase all your panels or find other solution. In this way instead you have right, like I show you in timber frame, you have just timber to timber in the right direction. Okay, basically the resistances are about, this is our first release on the catalog, 140 kN for tension and 100 kN on shear. And uh, uh, the, the second point that is revolutionary that of course this element that is the one that gives you the final resistance is also used to lift up all your panels. So the, the concept is that at the end you go straight from uh, the, the track to the building, to the construction site. The fact is this one, so it's also a lifting point in order to reduce a lot the, um, the construction and the, the time to, to build it. Um, these are basically uh, how it, just to show you how it works uh, uh, from the structural point of view. Uh, I'm avoiding now a re concept regarding the acoustic and um, air tightening that we are developing and I can tell you later. So this is typically the joint as it acts. And here is um, how I can explain now. All the building is realized through like a um, kit, different kit, because in a standard building you have like a base floor, so the first floor, the middle floor, who can be repeated several times, and then the top floor. So you just have three, basically, typology of floor. Regarding the connection here, for, from the more complicated to the less, you have, for example, here you have a so-called X, 
x joint, so it's like an x, so four joint. And here you have like a T, so three panels in one joint. Here you have like a L, and basically you can also have a O, so that stop it, or an I, so this is just an I in here. So basically you have five different configuration for joint and three different levels. So in 15 joints that you can uh, repeat all the times you have all the connection for houses. Of course it's true for standard houses in this case. So not through much architectural houses, just 90 degrees <laughs> in this case. Uh, but in this way you can realize all uh, building also in high level because in high level you are going really to uh, to use the timber the proper way because the, the good stuff of the timber is the, the compression the resistance of of the material Excuse yeah sorry yeah this was also one of the um, the point that we had to develop after the first time that we show it and for this reason, uh, we had to develop this part in which this is, was a request from the American uh, society because in this part there is a bars, a threaded bars that can go from the high to down and right down to the concrete um, because of, of course, the American prescription of related to big one and progressive collapse and robustness. So this was a point that we had to develop. From the technical point of view, uh, how it works, this joint? Well, you can see that, uh, yeah, the fact is that inside here, inside this plate, there is an um, LVL made by, um, uh, I don't remember in English. Fajo. Fajo. Okay. Anyway, a very strong uh, timber uh, material. Uh, that, of course, what now we can understand that we have seen how it were the screws. The resistance of the screws here, the threaded screws, is proportional to the density of the timber. Leach? No? Beach. Beach. Okay. Okay. Beach. Anyway, uh, so is proportional to the density. So this is so high density that in here you just need this uh, five centimeter and here you need 10 centimeters. So I mean, it's proportional. So much can be l l shorter the skews inside. So this is just a calculation inside how it works. Ah, here is what you asked to me. Yeah, the bars going from up to down for the load paths. And uh, anyway, what's the, the, the concept is that in the construction plant also can happen that the producer of CLT place right there all these systems. And so the panels arrive with this system installed and after that all potentially customers can realize a CLT uh, timber panels because also uh, a company that usually works with steel they have just to install these bolts. It's like the most common bolts to bolts standard connection because all the other connection is right here on the panel. So uh, regarding also what uh, she was, you were asking, it, it could be also another approach. In that case, really all customer can realize this one coming from concrete, coming from uh, steelwork and so on because the real connection is just here to here. So again, the load path, Quite revolutionary, the, the base um, in which change the, the configuration. And here, of course, the test that we realized that uh, in order to obtain the ETA and, and so on, you can see here how it works. Uh, test that we took on, on it uh, how for, for the behavior. And we are working quite hard, I told you, about this uh, uh, modeling from the general design of the building and this probably will be released already in November, so how to model before the final uh, releasing of the product in order to mm, give opportunity to engineers to, to study how to, to design. Here again some uh, uh, tests where you can see that there is a double behavior, um, this rigid through the screws and this ductile through the bolt, so it's like 
uh, a medium, a mix, um, mixed behavior between the two behaviors, which is good. And finally, yeah, the, the project status. So uh, it's completed this part of the of the building. And as I told you, the ETA so is already done and almost, and we can uh, we can like give on the market this new way. Of course, uh, this yes, last one, some example realization. Of course, we started to to realize at first our <laughs> um, our headquarters. We recently. Uh, expanded our headquarters with another part uh, and of course was the perfect uh, op op opportunity to use just for the, um, the facade but we use it there so and it worked because <laughs> it's standing there our headquarters so and here are some uh, tests that we are making here and there okay we have finished it right on time and uh, thank you <laughs>